everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Celtic Ear Warmer, which you can see here in front of you. This is a twisted ear warmer. So we'll learn how to make this twist in the end. It's highly textured. It is an intermediate pattern simply because of our front and back post triple stitches. But once you know how to make this stitch, it's really easy to catch onto and very quick to make. I've worked mine here using a bulky weight yarn called Scarfy by Lion Brand Yarn. You're going to need about a hundred yards, so about one third of a ball of Scarfy. You're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. There you'll also find a copy of the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I should say you'll find the link to that free written pattern. And uh, you'll also find some other photos there for this one as well. So thank you so much for joining me. While uh, you're here, I invite you to take a look around, subscribe. There's lots of other patterns on my channel for ear warmers and crochet beanies. Our ear warmer today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making our slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain needs to be a total of 63 chains. Once you have your 63 chains worked, and I should mention that our headband today or our ear warmer is sized to fit an adult head so it's going to be 22 about 22 inches it's pretty stretchy for circumference once you have your 63 chains worked into your second chain work a single crochet and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across I am working in the back bumps of my foundation chain. Uh, it's really only just my preference. I like to work in the back bumps because it gives you a nice finished edge on the other side. So single crochet into each stitch all the way across. You'll have a total of 62 stitches. At the end of row one, chain three and this chain three is going to count as a double crochet and turn your work. For row two, going to skip that stitch at the base of your chain because that chain counts as a stitch and work one double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row you can chain two and turn your work. At the end of your row two, chain two, it does not count as a stitch and turn your work. Row three is where we are going to begin working our Celtic cable stitches. So that's the texture that you saw there in my sample. First, for row three, double crochet into that first stitch. So just at the base of your turning chain, double crochet. Skip the next two stitches, then around the post of the next two stitches, you're going to work one front post treble stitch. To work the front post treble, yarn over twice, You've skipped those two stitches. Around the post of your next stitch, bring your hook in front, insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops three times. That's your front post treble. You're going to do that around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over twice, bring your hook in front of your work, 
insert your hook from the front around back of the post out through the front again of the next double crochet yarn over draw up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops three times that's your front post triple now working back over the two skipped stitches so the two stitches that you just skipped you're going to work a front post treble beginning with that first stitch and then the second skipped one so yarn over twice bring your hook in front of your work again and back to that first skipped stitch insert your hook from the front around back of the post out the side again yarn over draw up your loop yarn over and pull through two loops three times so that's the first skip stitch the second one is there you may have to pull your work apart a little bit but again work a front post triple around that second skip stitch that's your first cable made you're then going to skip the next two stitches and front post triple around each of the next two now working back over the skip stitches just as you did before so these two right here work one front post treble stitch around each beginning with the first skip stitch and then the second you are now going to repeat that all the way across skip the next two stitches work a front post triple stitch around each of the next two then working back over the two stitches that you skipped front post treble beginning with that first skip stitch and then front post treble around the post of the second skip stitch repeat that all the way across to your final stitch at the end of your row three work a double crochet in the top of your final stitch which is the top of that chain three chain two and turn your work now for row four we're going to begin by working a double crochet into the top of that first stitch and then a front po or back post treble stitch around each of the next two stitches so yarn over twice bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from the back through to the front out through the back again yarn over and drop a loop yarn over and pull through two loops three times that's your first back post treble stitch you're going to do the same thing around the post of the next stitch skip the next two stitches and work a back post treble stitch around each of the next two stitches there's the first one and the second now working back over the first two skipped stitches so those are these ones right here and this is where it gets a little bit tricky you're going to want to kind of separate them maybe push them to the back a little bit as we work around them but you're going to work back post treble stitches around each of these first two skip stitches so yarn over bring your hook and back behind everything insert your hook from the back through to the front 
around the post of that first skipped stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops three times. You're then going to repeat that around the next uh, skipped stitch. So you have the two. You're then going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and then repeat. Work a back post treble stitch around each of the next two stitches and then working around the skip stitches, work a back post treble stitch around the first skip stitch and another back post treble around the second skipped stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across your row till your final three stitches. I'll just turn it around. You can really see it crisscrossing now. So repeat that all the way across to the final three stitches. At the end of row four, when you come to the final three stitches, you're going to work a back post triple around each of the next two stitches. And then a double crochet into your final stitch. Chain two and turn your work. We have one more row of Celtic weave stitch to work. For row five, you're simply going to repeat your row two. So double crochet into that first stitch. Skip the next two stitches and work a front post triple around each of the next two stitches. Then working back over those skipped stitches, work a front post treble over the first stitch, the skipped one, and then over the second skipped stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skipped, skip the next two stitches, front post treble, around each of the next two stitches. Then working back over the skipped ones, front post treble around the post of the first skip stitch. And then around the post of the next skip stitch. Repeat that all the way across to your final stitch and work a double crochet into the final stitch. At the end of row five, you double crochet into the top of that final stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Now for row six, we are simply going to work a half double crochet into the first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. And then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row six, chain one and turn your work. At the end of row six, chain one and turn your work. For row seven, single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, you can fasten off 
leaving a long tail. Okay, so once you have finished that row of single crochet, you can fasten off, leaving a fairly long tail. Weave in any other shorter ends, and I'm just going to thread my needle through that long end. We're then going to create the front twist in our headband. To do that, you're going to take your two shorter ends and fold them so that they make a U. You're then going to bring those two ends together and kind of stack them so that you have one like A, B, A, B. So this is my left side. I have a left side, then a right side, left side, and right side. So you're just kind of bringing them together and folding them like so. You're then going to take your needle, which you've threaded through that long tail, and you're going to sew this together, making sure that you are working through all four thicknesses. So just insert your hook. I'm just going back and forth through all four thicknesses. all the way across. There are many other ways to make this twist so if you have a favorite way go for it. This is just the way that I prefer. Once you come all the way across you'll want to secure that end and then simply tuck in your ends and trim them off. Turn your headband then right side out and your Celtic ear warmer is complete. So thank you so much for joining me and once again I invite you to subscribe, take a look around and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.